Hello, welcome back to your day second video. So we've already done uh, JMA Thursday, where we've had a look at the uh, webinar. It's three months with the Japanese uh, model. Uh, that takes us from um, March through to May, so covering the full uh, spring period. Um, and if you want to know more about that, you can find the videos that, to that on the homepage. Just scroll down a little bit, and it's underneath the link ads. Uh, so you'll be able to um, see what could be around the corner for the spring. Very uh, interesting update, really. A lot of very variation month by month through uh, the spring. But I'll let you have a look at that if you want, would like to do that. Uh, this video is going to have a look at when it's week to 10 days. So this takes us almost to the end of uh, February. I think going to around 26th of February uh, with this um, update. So uh, we're going to have a burst of spring-like weather uh, through the weekend and into the start of uh, next week. But I think it will turn more unsettled through the course of next week and possibly a little bit cold as well. Maybe a few colder stats coming through later on next week. But I'll tweet you for all the detail in a second. Before you go on with that, just very quick to mention the ads. This link's right on all pages. Just mention those. Have a browse free widgets and click through the links. If there's any articles that you're interested in, you're going to help us pay the website. And thanks very much for doing that. So these are the 500 millibar high tsunami flow charts for the next week to 10 days. This takes us to the 26th of February. We've got the ECMDF here on the top. The GFS, we'll have a look at that in a moment, is on the bottom. 500 millibars, 80,000 feet. This is an area in the absolute high pressure, low pressure being moved around by jet stream running above. On these charts, blue extrapolates to uh, low pressure and red, orange, bright colours, extrapolates to high pressure. So uh, we can see we've got quite a deep trough in across the northwest of Europe there uh, in around uh, a week to 10 days time and is extending down through into Western Europe as well uh, with the east end of US. So that's sending the jet stream further south. That's bringing down somewhat colder air as we get through to the end of next week. Look around. 10 days away. It's also very unsettled with this deep trough of low pressure. We've got a ridge pulling out into the middle part of the Atlantic. That's not doing much uh, for us. So after a fairly dryish and settled start next week, it does imply that things are likely to turn significantly more unsettled and a little bit colder as well. The GFS is very similar. High pressure is closer to us with the uh, GFS. It's down to the south. Really deep trough in over uh, Scandinavia. Very deep trough there. And again, the jet stream, which is quite a strong jet stream, is coming through the country. So it looks unsettled and potentially a little bit colder as well. Although I don't think it's quite as chilly as the ECWS scenario. But we could be pulling down cooler air, certainly, from uh, the northwest. That is a deep trough that's in over Scandinavia. That could bring a bit of a burst of winter through to uh, them. So these are the GFS temperature precipitation ensembles for the next two weeks. The red line here is the 30-year temperature average. Uh, as I say, we're going to have a burst of spring through the remainder of this week into weekend and into next week. The temperatures are lifting up, so very mild, if not quite warm conditions, really, for the time of year by the start of next week. Uh, then the temperatures are dropping, going back to average. And in fact, several members of the GFS ensembles are now going for a little cold snap at the end of next week. That's pulling down temporarily northerly winds but after that it turns milder again as we move through to the very end of february and into the start of march precipitation on this chart shows how it is turning more unsettled through next week so loads of dry weather no rain or spikes at all uh through the rest of this week into the weekend and the start of next week and then later next week those precipitation spikes do come back turning increasingly unsettled so quite big rainfall spikes there as well indicating potentially a fairly wet uh end to february temperature anomalies for the next week for the uk and most parts of europe coming out milder than average the cold temperature anomalies are pushed right way down into Greece and the Middle East. Now, most parts of Europe coming out with milder than average temperatures from the 16th to the 24th of February. Uh, precipitation still dry than average for England and Wales for the next week, and particularly for France. But notice it is turning increasingly uh, to above average precipitation for northern parts of Europe. So over time, particularly the second half of next week, I think it does start to turn more and more unsettled. United States looking very warm as well. These are the temperature anomalies for America, with many parts of America coming out with above average temperatures. It is cold average in the west, around the Pacific, but many other parts 
coming out very significantly uh, warmer than average. Those are around 20, I'm not sure if they're 20 degrees or 20 Fahrenheit, but uh, around 20 either Celsius or Fahrenheit above average there for northern parts of the states. Really warm winter conditions. Uh, and precipitation in America, central and eastern areas are significantly drier on average, but in the west it is really wet still. So we may hear more about flooding in California. They've really broken the drought now over in California that lasted for around three to four years, I think, but it's all over now. It looks very, very wet down that west coast, Pacific coast of America. So, coming back to where well, for the uh, next few days, and this is the GFS for Monday, when we're bringing in a westerly wind, it's mostly dry down in the south, because it's high pressure, it's a little bit more unsettled up in the north, but maybe it's going to be very mild, temperatures could be up to around 16 degrees early next week, 61 Fahrenheit. Uh, we go through to Tuesday, still quite dry in the south, but more unsettled up in the north, and then it turns more generally unsettled on Wednesday. A band of heavy rain is sweeping down across the country. Quite strong winds with that, especially up to the north and west. And then we're breaking into a proper unsettled spell for the second half of next week. That looks cool and showery. In fact, it turns quite cold at the end of next week. A little cold snap pushing down from the north as that low pressure clears through to the east of us. It turns the winds into the north. That could bring snow showers back to Scotland. We've had very few sort of northerly snaps this uh, winter, but uh, that's a little bit of a northerly snap there for the end of next week. It doesn't last at all long as we go through to the final weekend of Saturday. It starts at the final weekend of February, which is Saturday 25th. It starts to turn mild up with the air coming back in off the Atlantic turning wetter and windier. We finish up on day 10, which is Sunday 26th of uh, February, with high pressure to the south around France, low pressure out to the northwest, a strong west to southwest wind, and there's some rain up in the north and west as well. He said, yeah, finally, and we've got a lot of dry weather in the south on Monday, and very mild, if not quite warm for the time of year, a little bit more unsettled up to the north. Through the course of next week, it's totally more unsettled, so Wednesday, bring quite an active cold front down across the country, that could bring a band of heavy rain, quite Quite strong winds as well. And we go through to the second half of next week where we're in a proper unsettled spell of weather under this area of low pressure, turning colder as well as the wind goes into the northwest, if not the north. I don't think it'll last too long. But as we go through to Saturday, 25th of February, actually, we are just reaching a little bit of high pressure over the country. So it's still quite cold, but mainly dry by then. But by Sunday, the 26th of February, which is day 10, we begin to turn things milder again from the Atlantic as those west southwest winds begin to return. So we're going to have a lot of dry weather through the uh, early part of next week, away from the north, and it's going to be very mild too, with temperatures into the mid-teens Celsius, which is more like you'd expect in April than uh, in the uh, middle of February. Um, but I have to go through the second half of next week, turns more and sound. I think we'll find rain and strong winds pushing down from the north, particularly through the middle last stage of next week. Eventually a bit cold as well, perhaps, with chance of a bit of a cold snap at the end of next week. I don't think it lasts too long. Go back into those Atlantic winds for the final weekend of February. Check out the free monthly update from the JMA covering the full spring period uh, if you'd like to do that. And tomorrow it's JMA Friday, which will look at the uh, weather for next month with Japanese and CFS models. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.